What I want to do uh, today is just go through a quick um, overview of uh, the uh, Apps for Outlook model. I know some of you here are very familiar with it, some of you less so, uh, and uh, talk about some of the kind of the exciting things that we've had uh, going on over the last year. Um, we'll talk about the Office Store, which I know there's a lot of uh, kind of questions about what exactly that is, and then just uh, next steps if you're interested in, uh, in building on top of this. And this really is for that kind of last category that uh, Jared was talking about. Uh, uh, you know, partners and ISVs are interested in building on top of existing uh, the Outlook and Exchange install base. Um, so uh, first off, a quick overview of Apps for Outlook. They are deeply integrated in, in, in Office. Uh, they are uh, present in Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, SharePoint. I'm only going to talk about Outlook OA today because we only care about mail here today. Um, uh, completely based on JavaScript uh, uh, HTML5 standards, uh, they are a step away from kind of the com uh, add-ins uh, of the world for Office. So if you're a web developer, you've got a website, uh, within you know, a very short amount of time, you can get an app going within, the, uh, within our framework. Um, the, uh, the next thing to know about it is uh, we really wanted to shoot for this idea of a write once, run everywhere model. And to us, right, you know, everywhere is got to be desktop, it's got to be web, it's got to be uh, phone, and it's got to be tablet. And so, uh, this model actually achieves that uh, today, where uh, the same app can run in Desktop Outlook uh, that runs in the uh, Outlook web app web client. Uh, it also runs in the OA for iPhone and OA for iPad uh, apps that we just released um, last couple of, couple of months. Super excited about that, because you know, as a couple of people have noted today, uh, getting apps, getting that, that uh, getting your integration into the hands of a mobile user is absolutely key in, uh, in, you know, in this world, uh, as just with, with mobile, uh, minutes rising, it's just like that's the integration that I'm most excited about out of all three of these. Uh, if we've got time, I'll demo what that looks like today uh, in our IOF, uh, OF for iPhone or OF, OF for uh, iPad apps. Um, uh, let's see. So uh, easy to access. So we wanted to, you know, engagement, very, very important. We are, you know, continuing to work on building a, a great engagement model. They are front and the center when you view a, view a message, contextually relevant. It was kind of one of those keys we really wanted to, uh, we really wanted to uh, land as well. We want to make sure these apps don't show up uh, where people, you know, users aren't going to use them. We want them to show up when they're actually uh, you know, relevant in terms of a map, uh, in terms of this LinkedIn one, um, you, know, you know, showing up in the context of a meeting here with uh, Bruno, uh, sent out a meeting request for this event. And, uh, you know, I don't uh, work closely with Bruno until about a week ago, uh, but I could drill in and actually get more details about him right from my calendar. So super useful in terms of uh, understanding the, you know, the context of the, uh, the appointment or meeting that's coming up. So um, last, uh, this is a whole new world, very much uh, aligned with the cloud uh, model for administering apps, no longer a big on-premise installation, uh, on-premise deployment of, you know, of software. This is huge for you know, Exchange, uh, uh, Microsoft um, you know, uh, customers. This is a, a complete shift. Uh, to really something that I think really lands in the alley of many of you here that I, I hear talking today, where you're primarily a cloud-based service, this model is for you. Uh, it's you run your service wherever you want to run it, and uh, you can uh, you know, basically uh, install an app, refresh it, update it, uh, without the on-premises customer having to do anything, which is which was really our goal uh, in bringing this model to, uh, to our customers. Um, and finally, the Office Store, uh, you know, creates brand awareness. Uh, for those of you that are, you know, brand awareness is important, which I think is pretty much everybody. Uh, and uh, it helps you, uh, gives for the first time a direct way to appeal to end users uh, of the uh, Office client. So any end user can go and uh, install an app for Outlook, um, and administrators can go and install it for their whole organization. We really wanted to enable that viral adoption of the, uh, of the platform. Um, Moving on, so a bunch of press about it. I'm actually going to skip over this. Um, but uh, uh, partners in the App Store, we've got a bunch. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I've got, uh, I had my uh, email alias on the, on the first slide. I'll go back to that at the end. Feel free to write it down. Uh, if you guys are interested in building our platform, have questions, uh, I'd love to talk to you about, um, you know, about your scenarios and, and about the, uh, uh, you know, whether the integration makes sense. Um, I get a lot of questions about how many users are using Office. Uh, some people know it's, it's a lot. Uh, uh, I think you know, the, the one that you know, stands out, 78% of organizations uh, using Exchange, uh, supporting Exchange uh, and Outlook. So it is the predominant way that businesses do their email uh, today. 
Uh, and and uh, you know, we see that continuing to the future through Office 365. We've got a ton of, uh, of energy momentum focus around Office 365. Uh, if you are thinking about a platform to target, I would recommend that's if you're not using Microsoft Exchange today, not targeting Exchange today, I would definitely recommend starting and looking at Office 365. It's the easiest, most consistent kind of uh, experience to go target, and uh, uh, and then from there you can you know uh, build to the uh, to, to the on-premise. Um, but a ton of uh, exciting uh, exciting momentum there, and I, that's the thing I'm most excited about is now we've got a great cloud story around uh, around email uh, and extensibility that you can go build on. It's a good a great way for us to get our innovation out there more quickly. I think you know, uh, the, some of the challenges in the past have been how do we get our innovation out to customers as quickly as we would like. Uh, and now we're down to the, you know, to, the, to the place where we released our latest version of Office 365 in March. Actually, we released uh, Exchange 2013 in November. We added the ability for these apps to access the message body in message attachments in March. The ability to ask, access message body in like June, uh, and it was like you know just great that every couple months we could roll something out as, and those were direct results of asks some from people in this room for new features uh, in the platform. So again, really excited to work with you guys, uh, get your feedback on what you'd like to see, and um, this is this is definitely we're putting a lot of energy and in, in investment right now. Um, in terms of marketplace, uh, the big work we're doing there is language support uh, and and and. Uh, uh, going to different uh, uh, locales, uh, eight new languages added, eight new markets added, uh, and just continuing to roll that out more broadly. Uh, making money, I get asked about this too. We support kind of all uh, flavors, uh, free, paid, trial. We just rolled out subscriptions, organization purchase. Uh, so basically handling uh, the, the commerce transactions if you want to. You don't need to, you can handle it yourself. But uh, if we do it, this is the, the model that we've got. So very kind of Open, uh, open model in terms of licensing. Um, and then, you know, uh, so this is kind of the summary of the, of the, the reasons to, uh, to sell uh, an Office Store or, or to uh, probably put your app on the Office Store. Um, and I think I've gone through pretty much all of these. I'm not going to spend much time there. Uh, and again, this model, you can completely circumvent and not use the, uh, use the uh, store. You can uh, sideload your apps. You can provide them directly to a to a customer and have them go load the app directly and sell through your own channel if you want to. It is there as, a, as an opportunity to drive, uh, to drive this engagement. So um, with that, next steps, uh, dev.office.com just revamped it two days ago. Uh, it looks great, um, a great lot of great documentation. A lot of you here should have asked me about how do I get started. I would definitely recommend starting there. It links off to Java APIs we have to access our web services, .NET APIs, uh, the raw uh, protocol we have to uh, access uh, the APIs, uh, Office Developer Forums, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, that's where we post blog uh, posts about, uh, about the latest things that are going on. And uh, with that, I think we've got a couple minutes. So I'm going to switch over to a quick demo because I know not everybody has seen uh, this in product. I'm going to leave us on the first slide where I've got my um, contact information. And uh, let's see here. So I get there. Okay, so there's my contact information. Feel free to email me uh, if you've got uh, directly, if you've got questions or uh, thoughts. Um, and then I'm gonna switch over very quickly and I'll show you um, uh, Outlook 2013 here. Uh, this is Outlook 2013 running. Uh, I'm gonna show you basically kind of what uh, an app for Outlook would look like in context. You can see here is the meeting request that I got. Yep, nope, you can't see it. Just kidding, just a moment. Yes, there you go. So uh, you can see here, uh, I've got a meeting request from Bruno. Uh, I can drill into the, uh, to the LinkedIn app, and uh, I can, can actually... Make it larger? Yeah, I can make it larger. That's not what I mean. That's not larger, no. Uh, I don't think I've got a good zoom here. No, nope. so I'm sorry, uh, squint, I apologize. Uh, I don't think, unless we can actually downsize the resolution, maybe we can downsize the resolution here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's try dropping this down a bit. There you go. Okay. Changing screen resolution on the fly. I tell you, let's see. Yay. It worked. Keep changes. Keep changes. Keep changes. <laughs> Quickly. Okay. 
So you can see there's Bruno uh, can drill in. One of the office, awesome things I love about the app model is that you know, LinkedIn can go do their own customization uh, and build unique things into their experience that we would never build in terms of our first party experience. Company info is a great one. I can drill and find out about Return Path. Um, just, a, I think, a super useful, uh, useful app there. Uh, one of the other things, just to point real quickly on the contextual aspect, um, is actually, you know what, I'm going to switch over real quick and try to be daring and show this on the mobile phone. So this is uh, OA for iOS. Let's see if it works. The daring. There it comes. Okay, cool. So uh, here is our app. Again, re this released earlier this year. Uh, integrated mail app. Um, you can drill into, again, I can drill into Bruno and uh, see that there is that same, uh, that same LinkedIn app and, and Bing Maps. I'm actually not going to click on those. I'm going to switch over to this other mail. Imagine for a moment that I am a shop owner and I receive this mail about uh, uh, Christmas uh, chocolates coming in and whether I might want some. Uh, so I can actually go and find out who this person is that's suggesting, uh, suggesting these things. I can go to LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn will ask me where I am because they want to know for some reason. And uh, I can drill in, find out details about who it is that's uh, actually emailing me. Turns out it's a guy that works for me, so I should know who he is. Uh, uh, the other thing this actually does is it detects that there's a, again, we're using natural language processing or entity detection to determine that a, a meeting suggestion is in here, uh, that should we meet this Thursday and discuss uh, this? So I can click on the suggested meetings and um, uh, this will bring up a suge the uh, discuss uh, suggested uh, meeting app, which will actually let me go create a meeting request straight from the mail. So it's an example of an app that you can build on this framework. I could click on it, and it would actually go create the, uh, create the mail. So uh, I just want to do a quick demo of, of that to show you what that experience looks like. Well, that will flip it back. Um, so we've got about three minutes left. I think that was a whirlwind tour. So um, go ahead and take questions on this for the next three minutes before we go into the next segment if there's any if there's any questions. We'll have them for 15 more minutes, just so you know. Hi, Paul from Sengrid. Yep. Uh, can you tell us what kind of commission the store takes for somebody who submits an app for sale through the store? Yeah, so it's, uh, it was on that slide I went through very briefly. It's a 20% commission if you use our commerce engine to, to do it. Yep. But you don't have to, right? But you don't have to. But you don't have to. If you want to, you know, what we find is there's all sorts of, you know, partners, some who've got so small they don't even want to go deal with the hassle of working with uh, any of the credit card companies, and so they'd rather have us do it and just cut them the check, and others would like to go deal with that. They already have an existing system, and they're happy to let them use that. Hi, Jason. This is yeah. uh, Justin Koo from Advanix. Hi, um, I'm asking this question on behalf of all the email designers in the world. Uh, when is uh, Outlook going to incorporate a modern HTML rendering engine? <laughs> uh, great question. Um, uh, yeah, great question. Great, great question. <laughs> so uh, I hope soon. I hope soon. Uh, but I uh, can't, uh, can't say anymore. <laughs> Other more relevant questions uh, to the topic which I just covered. Uh, just about the store, has uh, it already launched and what's the process for getting into the store and what are some of the criteria for, let's say, people around the room that are building extensions? Yeah, uh, so it has launched. Uh, it launched with the RTM of, of Office 2013. Uh, so it's been out just coming on a, a year now. Criteria, uh, to get started, go to that dev.office.com. There's actually a getting started and actually leads you all the way through developing the, the first app and actually submission to the app store. Uh, it's all integrated in there. Very, very lightweight uh, process in terms of the registration and submission. Um, and then uh, criteria. Um, you know, the app's got to be, uh, so this, we do want these apps to be apps which really uh, bring value to the, to the, you know, to, to Office and to the Office 365 ecosystem. And so, you know, there are some criteria around uh, a good, 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 good user experience. The value that you're providing is a you know, clear, uh, clear value. Uh, the uh, Is It Friday Yet app, less clear that provides a lot of great value. Uh, uh, but you know, anything that, every, every scenario you guys have been talking about here clearly would meet the criteria for being in the App Store. Right, part of the reason I'm asking is uh, it's great that you guys have recently integrated uh, IMAP and OAuth 2. And so assuming a lot of people around the room begin integrating that, um, is that sort of like a qualification 
okay, now you're pulling in yeah. um, Microsoft email through Outlook.com. Yeah. So, so let me, there, this is really complicated, and I apologize from the bottom of my heart for this, and David apologizes too, because um, <laughs> you're apologizing. <laughs> Because we had the name first, and then you took it. No, uh, we now we now share. So so Outlook, Outlook.com, Office 365. Let me explain a, a little bit here. So Outlook.com, the service that David that David that David runs, that we are now jointly uh, working on together, is the is the consumer uh, you know the consumer offering that was formerly Hotmail that supports OAuth and IMAP, right? And that was just released. That is a separate thing from the Office 365 which you can think of Office 365 as Outlook, the client, plus Exchange, the backend service, the business solution, right? So the, the, think of kind of my role as third-party developer for the business solution. David's kind of, and, and Steve over there, kind of for the Outlook.com uh, solution. And so the marketplace that I'm talking about is, is today completely Office 365 uh, and Outlook. Now that our teams are actually joining as of like uh, three weeks ago, uh, we'll work on rationalizing this. So next year we come here and we tell you a, you know, a, a better story. We're actually all really super excited that we can uh, at least uh, you know, say that we're, we're actually working towards that. But does that, does that help? Yeah, thank you. Yep. 